can you use the Google Gemini JSON mode with Bubble? The answer is no. Just like with OpenAI, when you use Google Gemini, uh, it responds with JSON, but it makes it appear like text, or at least Bubble believes that it's text rather than JSON. If you want to get structured JSON back from any AI, the best one that we've worked with is Claude, because Bubble actually detects it as JSON when it comes back. And so you can really go down into the different keys, different parameters within the JSON and extract the data that you want. Now we've got a couple of videos already on that, but I just want to demonstrate the problem here and sort of why it's so frustrating because Google Gemini on one hand makes this easy, but on the other hand, it doesn't actually work with Bubble. But before I go into that, if you're wanting to build an app with Bubble and really accelerate your learning process there, then click the link down in the description because we've got an amazing Black Friday, early Black Friday deal and Cyber Monday deal uh, for you to catch over on our website where we've got hours and hours, literally hundreds of videos, Bubble tutorials that you cannot find anywhere else that are only on our website. So. Here's the issue. Uh, I'm going to just show you how I built this, but I've basically taken this from the Google uh, AI Playground uh, and uh, I pasted it in. And what's nice about this compared to say if you had to use the tools function in Claude is that this is just laid out far more clearly. You're saying here are the properties. I have a job title, I have a salary and I have a summary and that they're strings. And then I have a list of required. Now this is fairly similar to Claude but it just is a little bit neater, easier to understand, especially if you're new to JSON. And so what happens is I click reinitialize call uh, and it takes a few seconds, but I get a response back. At least I did a moment ago. Let's give it a few more seconds. Um, here we go. So the issue is that here's my response. And you'll notice that it is JSON, but all of the characters are escaped. So you would need to use an additional plugin or an additional API call every single time uh, if you really wanted to embed Google Gemini into your app and you need a structured JSON. Uh, you've got to add in that additional step each time. Okay, and here's why it's frustrating. Because unlike Claude and OpenAI, Gemini in the Google AI Studio has actually got a way for you to build the schema for JSON. So again, really handy if you are not uh, proficient with JSON. So the way I built the other one was to say like job title here and it's a string and then I add a, another property and I say salary and I could stress that that's a number or an integer and I click save and then you can just go into the get code and here's the bit that you put into the API connector. Now again, this is really frustrating because Bubble doesn't actually detect it. So here's what I've been doing instead. When I've wanted to extract structured data using the help of an AI, I'm using Claude because Bubble detects that Claude is responding with JSON, and I'm using an AI to help me write that JSON. So I go onto the Claude tools page, find the JSON mode section, and then I copy that into ChatGPT or even Claude itself, and I say, help me rewrite this. These are the properties that I need. And I found that after a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of feeding any errors back into the AI that you're helping write that JSON code, I found that to work best. So as of right now, slightly disappointing that Gemini doesn't work with structured JSON. Hopefully Bubble is going to add in the ability in the API connector to state that you're getting a JSON response. But as of right now, November 2024, that is just not possible.